guys thought you'd like to see him run. So, um, I got a little dog down here playing fetch. I don't know if you can see him. They're not, it's not that far away. It's not as far away as it looks. And we've had her chase us, um, this little dog, like if we're walking on the sidewalk. So I know this dog. So I got to be hyper aware. Not throw it as far as I might normally with the chuck it. Um, and just be more aware, especially with a client dog. There's no music in my ears. There's nobody talking. I'm extra aware of my surroundings. I heard these kids come up behind me. So I checked in with her right away. She lives in this area and we've actually like walked her and I think she's seen her kids and our kids friends before and get her all excited and so she's gonna be possibly looking for for her family if she hears children so we want to make sure that that doesn't happen um that she doesn't just go rogue checking people out and so there's just a lot of factors here um if nelson or dakota they would be the two that might do it might chase off after that dog to say hi and scare it scare it into the street now we got dogs in the street it's just you got to be really aware guys when you're playing with your dogs. If you've got new dogs that aren't trained yet, don't have any noise in your ears, please. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Break! Good, come. Come. No, Nelson. Come. She's like, we're running, we should play. This is work. <laughs> Come on, down. Good. Nelson, down. Good girl. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope this gives you some tips for uh, when you're working your dog, the little things you can do during the day um, to also help you when you go out on fun outings like this and they have more, more freedom. What are you doing? You want, oh, is that what you wanted? Okay, down. There you go. All right, nice walk, cool down. Where are you guys at? Um, sometimes I have them do structure healing, but I'll have to admit, <laughs> not in the mood today. It's okay to just not be in the mood, <laughs> unless you have a dog that can't do this, and then then you don't have a choice. But uh, but if you do, if you got some space where you can roam. I mean, if we had kids out here playing ball and stuff, we just happen not to right now, I, I wouldn't do this. Um, but since we've got the whole open field to ourselves, let's go. Good. Uh, we're just gonna do a nice cool cooling walk after all that running down, well, not me running, down to the end of the, the brick and back. And that's our nice cool down for the dogs. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, don't forget your warm up and your cool downs. Dogs need them too. Dakota needs them because of her structure. Um, she's just got that long body and she's leaving us for some reason. Where's she going? <laughs> she needs it because of her young age. He needs it because of his older age. So they all need it. Every single one of them. Found that out with even my little five-year-old Maltese. Um, we stopped doing agility when she was around five or six. We had to take a break. Not because of her, like because of me. We had to take a break and um, start it back up again. Wasn't giving her those warm ups. Uh oh, poop patrol. Wasn't giving her those warm ups, and I'm pretty sure that's how she hurt her back, which affected her the rest of her life. And she's like 13 now, but still, it's been it's been a battle. I thought we were gonna lose her a few years ago. Um, quality of life. But anyway, hopefully, guys, go away. Let him poop in peace. Come on, shoot, go away. Go away. <laughs> anyway, more tips. One uh, important note on why like teaching a good solid downstay is so important if you want to be active with your dog or take your dog places. You want to just practice resting on your regular walks and things like that. Um, is because of this. We just happened to get here when school let out and uh, taking advantage of the beautiful day. As you can see, you know, getting down here midday, we won't be able to do that much longer. Anyway, downstate, all these kids going by. We've already had a couple kids come close and ooh and ah at the doggies. Um, being able to do this is really valuable. Um, also, just a side note, anytime you're playing fetch with an older dog, they need a warm up. Um, super important. Started doing that with Dusty and he's been doing better. Um, and then if you have a really young dog, 
you need a really controlled fetch. It shouldn't just be this free for all where you can do long-term damage on the joints while they're developing. It actually takes anywhere between 18 and 24 months for their, um, even if they're full grown, because they do get full grown by then for their plates and, and cartilage and all of that to um, fully develop. And so, yes, you can absolutely play fetch with a young energetic dog, but you don't want to do anything consistently hard on the joints, like a, like a 20 minute jog, um, too long of sprinting, biking, things like that. I know it seems like your one year old old German shepherd needs to go on a, on a five mile bike ride, but you've got to give them tons of breaks, um, to give the joints a break. So it's the same thing with fetch. You want to keep it nice and structured. And we're going to wait till these families go by. So we'll get a nice long break. But in between each, anytime we come down here with a young dog, in between each ball throw is at least 30 seconds um, of hanging around. So it's nice and slow paced.